What is up, mental patients? My name is Tormental. Today we're doing something a bit different. I just I saw this on somebody else's channel. They were talking about it, and I figured I would test it out, see what you guys think. This is the... I'll, I'll just read this to you. Perspective was created by Jigsaw and Google's counter-abuse technology team in a collaborative research project called Conversation AI. Guess what this is, guys? This is an AI designed to censor your discussions online, to weed out the offensive things you might say on Google's Google sites, on their properties. And you could test it here. You could see, like, what percentage um, the AI thinks that your comments are toxic. That sentence was toxic in and of itself because it was poorly formed, but... Yeah, you type things in here, you get a percentage of how toxic the AI thinks your words are. So you could type things like, fuck you. Fuck you is 99% toxic. Doesn't that seem right? I mean, that seems very correct. Uh, tormental is God. How toxic is that? 13% toxic. See, that's not very controversial. A lot of people, a lot of people would agree with that. Um, what else do we want to test out here? And, I, you know, I don't know, we might want to show how terrible this AI is going to be for people, or we may learn that it's perfectly wonderful and, you know, on the right track. I mean, it's not finished, you know, it's not complete, it says here they'll get things wrong, but, you know, maybe we'll get, like, an early look, a, a glimpse into the future of our dystopian wasteland that is the internet, but yeah. So let's test some shit out here. Um, boobs are nice. That's not controversial. 66% toxic. So, if you appreciate breasts, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter, because this doesn't know my gender. It's not going to assume my gender. Um, yeah, so boobs, just mentioning boobs means you're 66% toxic. Let's try... Nazis are nice. <laughs> That's okay. Nazis are nice is 65% toxic. It's 1% less toxic than saying that boobs are nice. <laughs> Wait, I don't think... I don't think that's correct. I think that's not correct. I, that seems wrong. I don't want to click the seems wrong button right now because I don't know if it'll take me to another page, but maybe I'll notify of that. Of that. Maybe I'll notify them of that in the future. Uh, PewDiePie did nothing wrong. 9%. See, Google agrees. Google agrees that that's not toxic. Uh, Hitler did nothing wrong. Now that rockets up to 43%. See, that's correct. I mean, if you were to look at, you know, what the majority of people would consider toxic, that would be correct. Now, let's try something here. We'll put just kidding at the end. Huh. So with just kidding, it's 46% toxic. Without just kidding, it's 43% toxic. So saying... Saying that you're joking... Saying that it's a joke and you don't mean it makes it more toxic... Than if you didn't say you were just kidding. Let's try... It's 46% right now. I'm serious. Okay, that's, yeah, that's okay. So that's, <laughs> that's 1% more toxic than saying that you're actually fucking joking. Okay. Um, uh, white people suck. 96% toxic. Now, 96% toxic? 95, well, that's not really great. Um... You know what? Well, okay. See, you were going strong there. I was, like, thinking to myself, okay, if I put in any race, it counts it as 90, around 95% toxic. And I was like, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It senses that you shouldn't say any, you know, group of people suck, you know, based on race. So I was like, good, good, all right. It's equal across, you know the whole landscape, that's equality. But then I changed it to just people suck and it stayed the same, and that, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. Men are stupid. 96%. Women are stupid. 96%. Perfect. Equality. 
Uh, you are stupid. That's more... Okay. That's more toxic. I guess because it's personally directed. I am stupid. Now that's not... That's not toxic at all. <laughs> okay, so that's that's a little bit of a problem there. But yeah, I, I'm just... I feel like... This is kind of an interesting thing for me, testing out, you know, trying to think on the fly about what, you know, to, to test with this AI, to actually put it through some testing. Because I don't know how many people are actually trying different things in here, and how many people are just trying um, whatever, like, pushes their narrative. Like, you know, someone might experiment with this until they get a huge discrepancy, and then say, look, look, it doesn't know what it's doing. Or, you know, people might keep trying until they get something perfect, and they'd say, look, look, it's perfect, it's great. So I just want to try pretty much everything. I want to try pretty much everything. I'm not going to go too far. I'm not going to go too far. Well, maybe I'll just write that. 90%. Okay. Uh, 10%. I mean, I would agree that they're not on equal footing in any regard. But that does seem like a large discrepancy. I could see, okay, I'm going to put forward a prediction here. Somebody's going to do what I just did, and they're going to put out an article or something saying, you know, look at this huge discrepancy between the two words. But I can understand that discrepancy. I can definitely understand that discrepancy. Um, I mean, neither one should be allowed. But, I, you know, I understand that one is definitely more toxic than the other. What else should we put here? Uh, I hate you. 92%. I hate myself. 85, okay, I wouldn't agree that that should be, hmm, I wouldn't agree that that should be toxic, because that's somebody who probably is crying out for help, and the last thing they need is to have their post deleted and their account banned because they're depressed. Oh, uh, what else do we got here? How about Coke is better than Pepsi? 25% toxic. Huh. Huh. How about Pepsi is better than Coke? 23%. How does that make How does that make sense? Those are different numbers, right? 23% 23% and 25%. Why how, why is there any difference? Coke, cock. <laughs> Coke and Pepsi are the same. All right, that's yeah, that's that's that makes sense. You're you're saying they're basically the same, and you get less toxic. But yeah, uh, I have a penis. Whoa, ninety-one percent toxic to to say that you have a penis. Uh, vagina? I have a vagina. Ninety-one percent. Okay, so if you have any genitals at all, you do not belong on any Google products. You need to be banned. You need to be removed. You can come back when you take care of that horrible genital problem you have. And get just everything removed. I'm not talking about changing anything. I'm just taking, you know, have it have it just totally removed, just dug out, just totally nothing. You should be like a like a Barbie or Ken doll down there. That's fine. I uh, have an apple. Five percent. Okay. Um, Google sucks. Ninety-five percent. Uh, Bing sucks. Ninety-five percent. Okay, so. Anything sucks is 95%. So if you say anything sucks, it's going to read you as toxic. So let's try this. Um, racism sucks. Hey, what do you know? Thinking that racism sucks means you're 96% toxic. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. I disagree with other people. 5%. I disagree with... Republicans, 8%. I disagree with Democrats, 5%. Okay, that's fair. I disagree with uh, white people, 32% toxic. You better, okay, now we're getting somewhere. If you disagree with white people, you're in trouble. I disagree with black people, 44%. Okay, so you're even less allowed to disagree with black people and with white people. That's interesting to note. It's interesting to note. I just like, I like putting this through its paces and just trying basically everything to see what... Okay, you could disagree with Asian people. 
You could disagree with Asian people, that's okay, but if we're going by uh, stereotypes, probably not a good idea, because they're probably right. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I disagree with the government, 5%. I disagree with Google, 3%. Okay, you're allowed to disagree with Google, that's fine. Uh, let's see. What else, what, what else do we want to do here? How about just Pepe? 12%! <laughs> uh, Pepe. Okay, um... My good man, here is a rare Pepe for your troubles. 9%. Anita Sarkeesian is wrong. 12%. Um, who's, an, who's someone like on the opposite side of that? I don't know how to spell Milo Yiannopoulos. Um, Milo Yiannopoulos is a guy who's like probably pretty much the polar opposite of Anita Sarkeesian. Um, here's my, where my ignorance shows. Tormental is wrong. I don't know. I'll just put it in my own name. 14%. Who's somebody... Ugh, fuck. Hitler was wrong. There we go. 49%. Okay. We're approaching 50% toxic if you believe Hitler was wrong. So yeah, this pre pretty much makes no sense. Um, some of it is pretty equal. Like, you know, when I went through the different races, uh, that was all pretty equal across the board. Some of these things make no sense. Like, you're not allowed to say anything sucks. You're not allowed to say Hitler was wrong. You know, it, it seems like the AI is incredibly flawed in certain areas to the point where I would not trust this to filter jack shit. I would not trust this to decide who can and cannot use uh, social media for their, you know, getting their speech out to the public. Now, they say that they'll fix it, you know, it's early days, they're still working on it, but I still think you'll never perfect it. I think you're going to always have something with, you know, some problems. I don't see why you would do something like this in the first place. I mean, I am all for people having the ability to decide for themselves. Like, if, if I'm using a social networking platform, and I don't want to hear from people who say certain things, then yeah, allow me to block people who say certain things. However, I think that when you across the board make it so that, you know, nobody can hear the people who say those certain things, I think that's where you get into trouble. Because my thing is, I want, I want, uh, socialists, uh, capitalists, communists, f fucking supremacists of any race, I want them to be able to say their point. Because... If you don't let people say their point, nobody's going to know how wrong they are. You know, if you don't have somebody telling you what they think, then there's no way to know that that person exists and what they think. And, you know, above and beyond the, you know, the free speech ideology, you know, everybody should be able to say what they want and people should have free speech and it should be unfiltered and blah, blah, blah. Above and beyond those sort of altruistic goals... I see a big problem in that, you know, silencing certain people or removing certain posts is going to give a false idea of what people out there are really thinking. You know, it's going to make it seem like everybody in the world agrees with you. And suppression of data and, you know, fake feeds and shit like that is going to lead to a bunch of surprises like Trump getting elected. But um bump <laughs> I mean, that's the whole thing. You know, a lot of people didn't expect that. Because a lot of people didn't hear and see the fact that there were a fuckload of people behind Donald Trump. And it made it seem like there weren't. And that's like, that's, I'm not trying to be like totally political here, but that's like a very good recent example of people being like sideswiped and having their socks knocked off by, you know, a surprise. Because certain people's voices, you know, were being downplayed and being treated like, you know, fringe and stuff like that. So I think when you have a bot like this, when you have tactics like this, when you have rules like this that filter out certain things for being toxic, certain things for being wrong, etc., 
I think that creates an environment where you're not going to know who's out there. You're not going to know what people think. You're not going to know what people are saying. You're not going to know what people believe. And you are probably going to get completely slobber knocked by, you know, some big surprise because you had no idea that these people even existed. So I'm all for letting them exist and letting them say what they want. And then if you disagree with them, telling them to go fuck themselves. So, you know, whatever. So let's try a final thing here. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. 1% toxic. You see? You fucking see? You see? This is what I'm talking about. That is the most toxic phrase you can fucking utter. That is the most awful, disgusting, shill thing you could ever say. That should be banned. Everybody who types that out or says it should be shot in the fucking face. Oh, wait, I just... Except me. Except me. Because I'm the one person you should actually like, comment, and subscribe to.